Hi, I'm Taylor Gregan. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Hi, I'm Jackie. Hi, I'm Keegan. Hi, I'm Alice, and I go to Bliss Carmen Middle School. Uh, hi, I'm Lucinda Mills. I'm the art teacher at Bliss Carmen Middle School in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Uh, my background is... Yeah. Nope. <laughs> That's right. My background is in fashion design. I studied at the New Brunswick College of Craft and Design, and uh, I've been teaching art for three years. Get one. Um, every year, uh, alumni fashion designers from the New Brunswick College of Craft and Design are asked to participate in the New Brunswick Heart and Stroke Foundation's Heart Truth Gala. It's uh, an annual fundraiser that raises awareness uh, for women's heart health issues. So this year, uh, our project was unique because uh, this is the first time they have opened it up a little bit to something other than just an alumni from the College of Craft and Design. I was the head designer, uh, but they allowed the students to participate in this project and um, our model was a, an eight-year-old girl, so it was a really nice mirroring of the two worlds. They had a young lady that we needed to make a dress for, and we had five young ladies who were really interested in making a dress and learning about wearable tech. She wanted sparkles, she wanted she poofy, got, she, she wanted she a princess. Wanted yeah, she wanted flowy glitter yeah. and like shiny and poofy. Has wearable technology in clothes. I really enjoy the 3D design or doing the coding. <laughs> okay. So it's something called a flora and it's like a microcomputer that you can sew into something or you can attach wires to and um, uh, it basically controls all of the lights that you have hook up, hook, hooked up to it. Um, so on the red dress, uh, at the beginning we had this kind of flash where uh, random lights would flash at a, like at different speeds and different times and then there was something uh, I think called a theater chase, I think that was the name, um, where the lights go around and then they follow the heartbeat along. I think it is really important because a lot of um, people in schools they don't get taught coding and they want to go into a career with coding and programming, but if they've not taught it, they don't know what to do until they go to university or college. It would probably be soldering all the lights. stuff and then just completely changed a lot of it. <laughs> we worked a lot on like wiring the belt so it would light up and then 
working on the crown in the 3D design, but we never ended up using those. They yeah. were taken yeah. away because they took they away, took away from, the from the dress. dress. Yeah. They took like, because the, the, the crown, the the crown was dress. incredibly uncomfortable on Sophia's head, like it was just sitting and there. And it was really but, bright. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it was taken And the belt flashed with the, with the, um, the dress. It was so, just like hard fireworks, you know. The heartbeat was amazing, it was beautiful on the dress, and it was good by itself, it didn't need any more components. The project didn't end as I had envisioned it would. I thought there would be a few girls, uh, and we would take them through a process, and it would be a lot of instructing and showing and them watching and helping out a little bit and they were really the driving force behind the pro the project they um, they were the ones who kept it going they were the ones who kept us on a timeline they were the ones who solved the problems most of the time when we had no idea how we were going to solve the problem when we were initially looking the girls knew they wanted uh, the heartbeat pattern and when we were initially to the point where we now have to start soldering neopixels and laying out that pattern. We, we couldn't figure out how we were going to have that pattern meet at the back of the dress and what it was going to look like and how we were going to solve that problem. And, and so we called two of the girls down and Taylor and Keegan looked at it and within a minute and a half of looking at what we had done for 45 minutes, solved the problem. It was like I think it, yeah, I think it represented yeah. her. Yeah, me too. Although we didn't really get to see her I mean, because of standing ovation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, only, the only dress to get a standing ovation is the one dress we wanted to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah.